Mimi driver kaptumo kapsabat route. Kwa kusema ukweli pia mafuta imepanda. Na wakiambia abiria ongeze abiria anasema hatuna pesa ya kuongeza. Kwa ukweli uchumi haijawahi kufika kiwango ile iko. Na maisha ya watu iko hatarini. It is the cry of Kenyans who will now have to bear the brunt of the high cost of living as the government plans to scrap fuel subsidy in the next financial year. Tunaomba aswa kama serikali ya uru tuliwapigia kura na hatukupika kimakosa. Tunaomba ishughulikie eh, shughuli ya mafuta sababu hii ni Kenya ambapo tuna tulichakuwa na serikali ambapo tulikuwa tunaipenda sana tulikuwa na imani ya kwamba ingetusaidia lakini sasa ndio imetunyanyaza aswa sisi watu wa barabara biashara imekuwa ngumu tena bei ya unga imekuwa mbaya sasa hata tunashindwa kutafanya nini sisi kama wakaji wa Kenya wakaji wa Nandi sisi tuaumia na uchumi ya saa hii maisha imepanda bei ya vidhaa imeenda juu in the latest EPRA price review, the cost of fuel went up by 9 shillings a litre, with a litre of petrol retailing at 159 shillings and 12 cents, diesel at 140 shillings, and kerosene at 127 shillings and 94 cents. Without the fuel subsidy, petrol will have retail at 184 shillings and 68 cents, diesel at 188 shillings and 19 cents, while kerosene will have retail at 170 shillings and 37 cents. Tumeumia sana. Juu hata hizi pikipiki tunaendesha ukienda kwa petroli unanunua mafuta. Pikipiki kiaribika vipuli za kuuza watu wanakuuzia tu vile wanafikiria. So Kenya hata hatujui tunaelekea wapi. Hali ya uchumi kidogo uchumi imekuwa ngumu kulingana na maisha ya saa hizi. Hata huenda tunahurumia vijana wetu wenye wajoa sidhani kama wanaweza wao kulingana na saa hizi. Sababu utalisha nini watoto utalisha nini jamii na utasaidia aje jamii yako hata kimasomo na mahitaji ya hapa na pale. But we pray that God may give us leaders who will be sensitive to what is happening in the country. In scrapping the subsidy, the treasury says it intends to create physical space necessary for the government to support targeted public spending on productive sectors. Mavuta siongezo kidogo kidogo. Aongeze vige maximum. Hata chakula tunakula mepanda. Apandise paka ikue waraia zikuje taut waishi resap. Kama una kitu ya ukula, ukula kwa tepe. Kwa una wataka beya mafuta yongeze? Mafuta tena yongeze. Paka ijulikane, yu mafuta yake mefikia kiwongo kani. Ndiyo saitia president hata kiondoka, haondoka kama kichua beya mafuta meshige watu mzuri. Uwezo nunuwa mekate? Tanulia nini? The government rolled out the fuel subsidy program in October 2021 and has spent 100 billion shillings to cushion Kenyans. With the government seeking to gradually remove the subsidy cushioning Kenyans against the higher cost of living, there is a tiny gleam of hope that the situation will change with Kenyans now having to brace themselves for tougher economic times. Kennedy Kimani, Hope TV Newswatch, in Kapsabet, Nandi County.